Hi, this is Eric Martin with Working Geek. I'm here with Brian Bornmuller from oh. Asmodee North America. Yeah. Looking at Starship Samurai by Plat Hat Games and Isaac Vega. Yeah. Uh, this is a final production version, not quite. No, no, no. This uh, is this is just a but, a nice nice prototype. But these the big robot samurai miniatures yeah, are we can actually a real. Yeah, they're right on camera here. Yeah, these are all all they look like comes with eight of these these big big miniatures. Okay. Yeah, and then there'll also be some fighters and carrier ships as okay. well. Okay, which are not in the sample that we have here. That are not here, but they'll be in your game. So. Okay. <laughs> so what are we doing? Yeah, Ours. so this is uh, Isaac Vega, who designed Dead of Winter, really likes, you know, sort of the classic sort of Japanese anime, giant robot things. And so he wanted to do a game where that was like the main, the main idea. So it's feudal Japan, but in space. Okay. And so you got these planets out here that you're trying to control. So you'll have like your fighters, which will be ships that you can send out there. And it's like an area control game. So it'll be one of these areas for every per player that's okay. in the game. And uh, if you have the most value worth of units around there, you're gonna get a benefit at the end of the round, which is oftentimes getting the influence of the, these minor clans of the galaxy in here, which is going to give you victory points and extra resources and things. And this is kind of a tug of war. So, as I gain influence, this, these guys go up and they're worth more points. But if you gain influence, then it goes down with me and eventually okay. can pop over to your your column too. So you're controlling these areas. Because these are all the minor clans. These are all the minor are clans, and these are the players okay. up here. How much their influence is worth to you. Okay. And obviously, the best unit you can send out to control an area is one of your big robot samurais, right? So they'll have special powers that make them unique and are worth a lot more than just one of the little ships. Okay. Um, the game also has a really elegant uh, kind of action selection mechanism in it. So everybody has a one, two, three, and a four action token here. And when it's my turn, I'm gonna pick one of those and I'm gonna pick one of the four actions in the game. So if I want to move some of my units, I'll pick one of my things, put it in move units, and I'm going to get to move three of my units this round. Okay. But instead, I could gain wealth, which is going to let me give me these uh, these little crate tokens, which you use to activate lots of special powers and stuff in the game. Or I could use that to draw cards, and uh, whatever number is how many of these special action cards I get, which are going to give you bonuses in combat, let you do special events, which the the range of these is great because it maybe it's an ambush and attack or um, a special ninja squad that'll help you out or my favorite thing that really shows the range of these is that you can also have a wedding where you can okay. get two people from the minor clans married to let you change things here on the, the influence board or you can spend your action tokens to move the allegiances here rather than trying to control this you can just directly influence this allegiance board okay. here. So everybody has a one, two, three, and a four token. You get to play them in whatever order you want, and you can assign them to any combination of those. So you can do all four of them on moving units if you want to focus on that, or you can, you can spread it out. Okay. And so we're all doing this uh, taking turns or something? Yep, we're all taking out. turns, and at the start of every turn, every one of these areas you're controlling, you'll get rewards for. And then at the end of the round after, so I'll do one, you'll do one. We'll be getting bonuses throughout the round, and at the end of the round, we'll go through and score each planet one more time, get the bonus, and then you'll also get to collect um, this card if you're the person the highest, and if you can get sets of them. There's little one, two, three, and four pip okay. things here. If you can get sets of these, that's worth a bunch of bonus points. Okay. In the, the game, it's it's a very fast game for kind of a dudes on a on a map area control game. It's like 60 minutes to play a game, and it's all very, very tight. There's, like in a two-player game, there's only, what, 16 spots for us to be fighting over. And right. So it stays really tight. Okay. All different numbers of players. Uh, approximate re release date? This summer. Summer, mm -hmm. and it's... All right, mid-2018. Yeah, 59.95. All right. Thank you very much, Brian. Absolutely.